Rent right now is 11.50. With no one's talking anymore. Right. Save energy. Looks like dead bodies. Welcome back to another video. This time we're moving. I know I previously mentioned wanting to move to a new state like Texas or Georgia, and I visited them in previous videos, but turns out moving is a lot more expensive than I thought and expected. And given my current financial state and circumstances, I don't think it is a wise decision to move right now. So let me pack all this stuff first. And then once I move in and get a little bit settled, let me explain to you guys why I'm staying in Chicago. We are on our way to the new place. Move everything in. 23 minutes. Go ahead and park after dark. Fallen star, I'm your one call away. It's too cold. Tell holes, me on walls. When I fall, I'm your escape. All right, it's about 2.30 p.m. I just got back from the gym. And it's also been two weeks since I moved in from all those moving clips. There's a lot of just moving parts in my life right now. But I gotta eat something. I haven't eaten anything yet. So I'm gonna cook and then I guess break down the costs and reasons why I decided to stay in Chicago. For lunch today, we're gonna do this sundubu. I don't know if there's like an English word for it, but it's just tofu, like hot, spicy, with a bunch of vegetables. I'm gonna add like ingredients to it and then uh, make this and eat lunch. First, we gotta make rice. Last time I made this, I put way too much water because I didn't measure. So make sure to measure it this time. 50 milliliters. I like mine really spicy, so I'm gonna put uh, two serrano peppers in it too. Damn, multitasking is uh, a lot harder than I thought, but basically one of the reasons I couldn't move was mostly due to costs, obviously. And when I break it down to rent a U-Haul, I believe it was around $2,000 all the way to Dallas. Another thing was I could have, I guess, like just shipped everything. Yo, what am I doing? Right, let me taste how spicy these are first. Yo, that's spicy. Ah, I don't think we need two. 
but I'll commit to my word. But yeah, what I was saying was two thousand ish dollars to move to Texas to I guess rent a U-Haul, put all my stuff in there and drive it myself. Or I guess it would be, I don't know, like thousand to two thousand if I was to ship most of the stuff and then drive my car down. And then if I was to sell everything, right, that I have, and then go there and then buy everything new, that would also not I feel like that would probably be the most expensive option. But regardless, it just didn't make sense financially and too irresponsible when if I really want to move to a new state, the best decision would be if I was to get a job in whatever state I want to move to and then ask them to pay for some of my relocation fees or all of it. Yeah, we're gonna hold off on moving to a different state until next year, that's still the goal. I really want to live in a state where it's like warmer weather year round to see if I like that better because I grew up in Jersey. It was four seasons there and Chicago same. Similar, but like I would, I would say it's like windier and kind of crappier weather. Yeah, we're in this new place now. Also, let me show you how the Sundubu stew is looking. So something about cooking it in like this pot just makes it taste a lot better. And we'll drop an egg in there for more protein. Bruh, no, 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 no. All right, no shells. We're good, we're good. All right, I'm gonna try to eat as much as possible. Most of this, gotta get the calories in. I also had like the flu last week. I still kind of have it, but lasted a whole week and probably lost like eight pounds. a little tour of the place. Rent right now is $11.50 with all utilities included, both electricity and gas. So honestly, for this unit, I think it's an absolute steal. Pretty happy with it and the landlords are great. So coming down the stairs here, it's a basement unit. Got my outdoor wardrobe. My old roommate, Jason, he hooked it up with the bean bag because Bear loves it so much. That's basically his bed. And then I have plants here. Just the living room area. And for a basement unit, it gets pretty good sunlight. And if we, when we walk over here, we have Bear's little area. And this is where I work, where I edit. Got a whiteboard. And the landlords were nice enough to provide me with this dining table. Already got a, can take it. More Asian art. And the bathroom is really nice. Over here we have like the kitchen pantry. I don't have that much stuff. And this is just decorations, more plants. Got a rice cooker, microwave, conventional oven, and this is the kitchen. And this is the bedroom. But yeah, with the rent being cheaper, there's obviously some caveats that come with the place, such as lower ceilings, and I can't control the temperature. It's controlled by the first floor tenants, which is why like utilities are included. So temperature has been fine. It's a good trade off. I'm happy with the price. And we're gonna do one more year in Chicago. And also shout out my friends, Henry, Jason, Jason's girlfriend, Christina, for helping me pack and move in.